video and I've been up for uh, quite a while now I've been up for at least like 24 hours so yeah excuse me if I sound tired or anything anything out of the ordinary but um, we're gonna be talking about a big topic today I wanted to talk about something that I found interesting because I've been seeing a lot of people like saying a lot of different like everyone has opinions everyone has a bunch of different opinions about a bunch of different people and stuff like that but one person who gets it the hardest is just no limits and honestly I, I know I can understand why but at the same time it's like people are just have unrealistic expectations and that's what we're gonna talk about so make sure you drop that thumbs up on the video and write down below why do you think just no limit gets so much hate and why do you think like so many people are so critical of the things that he does but let's jump into this gameplay we're gonna watch this gameplay of him um, competing here because he actually just let's start it He actually just went off and performed very, very well. Um, his his last match that I just watched against Boom. So he actually performed very Mom, well with all this. And yeah, th this is freaking loud. The the soon. Yeah, so um, he just went crazy in that match and did very, very well. And I think that he you consistently has proven that he's really, really good. But one of the biggest things that I think that has impacted his career being a pro is I think that being number one really held and for as long as he was like he was number one for quite a while just no limits was really number one for quite a while and he um he built a reputation and when you stay at the top of the leaderboards everyone knows your name that's how he became popular he, he became popular because everyone knew his name everyone kept seeing him and when you have that type of success, people are going to expect so much from you. People are going to expect probably your name becomes bigger than you are as far as scale is concerned. Like you could be the, a really, really good player, but you're like at some point your name is possible for your name to be just bigger than you are. And I think that that's one of the problems with Just No Limits. His name is just much bigger than he is and everything he does, any mistake he make is super critical. And then there's favoritism. Like one of you all pointed out earlier uh, in one of the videos that I dropped earlier um, of the gameplay that the announcers were basically meat riding Just No Limits when it was really his teammates making the plays, um, working hard and stuff like that and, and really creating opportunities for Just No Limits um, to basically do what he was doing. And if his teammates was creating those opportunities, I don't think that that takes away from what Jess was doing. But I definitely do think the announcers and stuff only focusing on Jess is part of the problem as well. Like, you only focus on one person. You don't, like, a lot of the time the announcers don't really focus on the full picture and, and really understand what's going on. Like, their game knowledge and everything is just very, very limited. And it makes, it sometimes could make the players look bad. Because if, if, People are focusing on Just No Limit the entire game every time that these guys are playing. Then that means they're missing all the great plays the other teammates are making, or, or like the other teammates aren't be, aren't being as valued as Just No Limit is, which obviously will make people get a lot more stressed out. If you if you're trying to support one of your favorite teams and you see that they're only talking about one player and you think that that player is average. Obviously, you're going to start to kind of hate that player, kind of start to trash talk that player and stuff like that. I mean, it happens. So I feel like the announcers and stuff and everybody just um, meat riding, basically meat riding just, I don't feel like that helps. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just a situation where his popularity exceeds what he's capable of bringing. Like, I don't think anyone, anyone could could um live up to the certain standards like a standard that high like people just thought that he was going to be a god or something like an absolute god every time he played with everything he do like zero mistakes nothing bad whatsoever never perform bad never have a bad day people just probably thought that he was just not human whatsoever and when people figure out oh he is actually a human he does make mistakes every day is not a good day then it's like people, oh, oh, he's not a good player. He's bad. He's the worst pro. 
and I, and I, I don't feel like that's fair. It's not really fair to call him the worst pro simply because he's not as good as everyone thought he was. And I think that he's like that's what that's what that's type of stuff that people say when he has an off game. Everyone will are quick, very very quick to blame him. Even and even when he has a good game though, everyone's very very quick not to give him credit as well. They like even when he did super crazy with um Alduis earlier, he went like what three zero and thirteen or something like that. He was tanking very well. He was doing a lot of damage, focusing targets good. He was making great plays, and people still just was focusing on oh no, his teammates just created that opportunity for him. Like that that and that's what happens. I feel like. So yeah, I feel like I'm um, just just the popularity get having that type of popularity going into being a pro player. It's just a lot harder for you. Like if you're an unknown guy and you're a pro player, if you do something bad or if you do something good, like it's like it's just normal. No one's gonna care. No one's gonna hold anything against you if you make mistakes. But if you're the most popular guy in Mobile Legends, period. Yeah, everyone's gonna judge you. Everyone's gonna judge you. Everyone's gonna have something to say about it when you're popular. And that comes with being that's come that comes with popularity. It really comes with popularity. Everyone always has an opinion of you. Um, everybody expects you to live up to their opinion, not realizing that everyone has different opinions. So if you live up to one person's opinion, you might not live up to another person's opinion. So honestly, that that's why that's why I take the approach that I take to YouTube. Like I, honestly, you all know me. I just be myself at all times. I be myself. I tell the truth, at least how I see it. And yeah, I'm just me. Like I'm not gonna. At the end of the day, certain people are gonna hate you. Certain people are gonna like you. But if you're just you, at least the people that like you, you know that they like you for you and who you really are. So yeah, I feel like that's that's important. Oh, they caught Jess. They caught Jess out. They going hard out here. But yeah, man, honestly, you got to think about the fact that for the position that Jess is in, like, you realize that, you realize that basically, Jess don't limit, like, he's in a position where he really don't, doesn't even have to really focus on being a pro player, Like he could literally do other things and probably make a lot more money using his current fame and doing other things. Like, I don't think he has to be a pro to continue being super successful. So, the fact that he's still working super hard, the fact that he's still putting in so much effort into being known and trying to prove himself time and time again and all of this stuff. Like, the, the fact that he's working so hard at being a Mobile Legends pro, it says a lot about the guy and a lot about his character. Like, honestly, he could just dip off and just start making a bunch of money and just start uploading hella videos and just start getting super sponsors and stuff, um, crazy sponsors. Um, <clears throat> you could easily do that at his position, but he still chooses to be a pro player. So I think that a lot of people don't cut him slack and appreciate that. They don't appreciate, like... Like, what he could be doing, he's not doing. He's he's deciding to be loyal to the Mobile Legends fan base. He's deciding to be loyal to his team. And he's deciding to work hard, even though he doesn't have to. So, yeah, I mean, he has a, he got a lot of respect for me personally. Like, that's just the way I feel about it. I feel like he definitely deserves some respect. But I feel like, yeah, that at the same time, though, um... It says the. I think the popularity. The popularity is really what. What's hurt him, when it comes to being a pro, because everybody's gonna have an opinion. Everybody's gonna have a huge opinion about him because if you're if you was top global for that long and you were destroying for that long, you have to be a god. You can you can't you have to win every event you go to. Yeah. But honestly, what you got to understand about the Mobile Legends community is a lot of these teams weren't really a used to, they weren't really used to adapting to just completely different strategies either. Um, a lot of pro teams do practice and go against each other a lot, but a lot of the teams don't go against each other a lot. So, 
adapting and being able to do something different that's a whole new skill like all of the, it's a lot of different skills that's required to play mobile legends just because someone is very very skilled and pro level at one thing doesn't mean that they're going to be pro level pro level at another <clears throat> so when it comes to adapting he might not be the best when it comes to adapting but it also is something that he's still working at and learning and stuff like that and i think that that's what the pro players as a whole are doing they're all just rotating they're working hard i mean they're, they're um they're they're learning to adapt and that like we can see that by the level that they're playing at now as compared to how they used to play because in the MSC, they were absolutely horrible. I don't care what nobody say. They were horrible in the MSC. I know everybody was, was meat riding eighth or main, but I'm not that type of guy. I'm not meat riding nobody. Everybody that eighth or main played against just sucked. Like, and that's, that's being 100% honest with you. But I want to see Aether Main come through and sweep. Like, if it happens again, I'm going to be on the side of everybody else. If Aether Main come through sweeping everybody... They're gods. They're, they're, they're the best. Like, I'm going, like, if it happens again, I'm definitely going to be on the side with everybody else. But at this point, every team is improving now, and you can see clear improvement. It's not going to be that easy this time around, I don't think. But yeah, man. Oh, look at this. They're, they're, yo, they're diving just. This is finna be the end of the game here. <clears throat> now Kai finna hit his ultimate. Oh no, Chow knocked him back. Chow with the knockback. <clears throat> Our turret has been destroyed. An enemy has been slain. Enemy legendary. And that is GG's, yo. That is GG's. But, yeah, let me know what you all think about this topic. This is just something that I wanted to talk to you all about. I wanted to get your opinion on why you think um, Just No Limit gets the amount of hate he gets and stuff like that. <clears throat> That's my theory. That's my thoughts on it. I think that he his popularity... He, with that pop, with that amount of popularity, he just set a standard that's so high, it's not even realistic to be able to live up to the expectations that everybody's going to expect. And you got to think about the fact that when it, the community is made up of a bunch of kids, so they see a guy who's been at number one for so long, <clears throat> they're going to automatically assume he's a god. They're going to assume that he's a god. He's going to play like no one they've ever seen before, not realizing he just he just might have a team that just works well together. That work that works pretty well, and the server that they play on might be kind of easy or something like that. Or yeah, you you never really know like what why certain things happen. You never really look at the full picture sometimes. So let me know what you all think. Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. I know you all have been enjoying the different types of video. We've been doing a lot of fun videos. We've been doing a lot of tip videos. We've been doing a lot of um, just random topics like this, just having great conversations. So let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Make sure you drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, fam. Peace out, yo. I'm on it. Can't fail for my family. I want it. So they'll never know.